Welcome to Beyond the Black Hole. Join us on a journey into the depths of the unknown, where chaos reigns supreme and theories abound. In this podcast, we dive deep into the mysterious realms of the mind, exploring the chaotic tapestry of random thoughts and enigmatic ideas that lie just beyond the veil of understanding. From conspiracy theories to cosmic mysteries, join us as we unravel the threads of the unexplained and venture into the realm of infinite possibility. Welcome to the Edge of Reason, where truth and imagination collide. Welcome, friends. You are now traveling beyond the Black Hole. Hey there, travelers. Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Black Hole. This is episode seven, and I am your tour guide, Rock Thundersword. I hope you all had a great week, and I hope you are ready for this adventure today. Today's article is titled, Man cooks and eats his own finger after losing it in an accident. David Playpens lost a finger and part of his hand after a motorcycle accident. But instead of simply throwing away the amputated digit, he took it home, cooked and ate it, and even kept the bones as a souvenir. Surgeons told Playpens they had to amputate one of his fingers after it turned black following a motorcycle accident. The man from Colchester, Essex, told doctors if he could take it home with him after the procedure and they had no objections. David says that he had always been curious about cannibalism and what human flesh would taste like. But the fact that going around eating another person's meat is illegal, he had never actually satisfied his curiosity. Only now he had his own finger to munch on, and when it finally occurred to him that no one would be able to drag him to court for consuming his own flesh, he decided to eat it and keep the bones as a souvenir, but curiosity wasn't the only reason that convinced Playpens to go through with his bizarre plan. I know it sounds mad, but it wasn't just the curiosity. That finger was a big part of me, too big a bit to lose, he told Love It magazine. I decided that if I ate the flesh and kept the bones, then I wouldn't be losing part of me. I have a feeling the comment section is going to go crazy with this one. <laughs> Imagine? I couldn't. There's no part of me that can sit there and plop my own finger in a, a pot and decide it's going to be something I want to consume. And how was it that the the doctors okayed that? Wouldn't that be some type of biohazard? I don't know how much I believe this story to, to, to tell you the truth. But what are your thoughts? What do you think? Add it in the comment section. I hope you all had a great journey with this uh, last episode. Again... Thank you for taking this time with us. My name is Rock Thundersword, and I'll see you next week on another episode of Beyond the Black Hole.